Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be preparing for speed golf, which will be on December 1st. And this will be my first ever speed golf tournament, so I don't really know what to expect. But I feel like I'll be really bad at it because I don't like feeling rushed when I'm on the golf course. It's kind of like the feeling where the rules official comes up to you during a tournament and tells you that your group is slow and to speed it up a bit. And whenever I get told that, I kinda, it kind of just like messes up my tempo for the rest of the round. <laughs> so it's all about a combination of playing well, but also being fast. Since the tournament, they're going to calculate both time and score. So it's important to have both. Today, I'm going to try a lot of different things, like shortening my pre-shot routine and finding the right club selection. We can only take six clubs, so. It's also important. It's all about strategy. And there's Momo. She's going to help me out. <laughs> Maybe I do better without practicing. <laughs> but yeah, it's all about strategy. Trying to avoid the bunkers or anything that takes time and just stay in the fairway as much as possible. Lay up whenever. And it's the tiny things like not bringing your head covers and not taking off your glove and stuff like that that saves time. It's a different take on golf. <laughs> for this man <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall too Does this seem pretty slippery or is it just me? It's very slippery I'm a treadmill kind of girl so this is like out of my element <laughs> stars shoulder <laughs> so I've been trying to prepare trying to decide what to bring it's a lot harder than you think so originally I was going to use this wing wing bag that I got Nine under. It's the lightest bag that they have. It's only 1.2 kilograms. But unfortunately, my mom said it's too big. 
all the contestants would probably be bringing this bag, this kind of bag. Um, but honestly, weight-wise, it's about the same. This one is 1.1 kilograms, so I really couldn't tell much different. It's just size, size is everything. And right now I have, I'm thinking about bringing only five clubs, but subject to change, I still cannot make up my mind for anything right now, so. <laughs> but right now I have my three wood, my six iron, my nine iron, my 54, and putter. So the reason why I chose three wood is because the course is really short. From the blue tees, which I'll be playing from, it's only, what, 6,047 yards. So that's really short. So I'm going to be teeing off with my three wood and for my second shot on par fives as well. So that's why it's convenient. And then for my long iron, I'm going to be using my six iron. I normally use my six iron a lot for par threes. I always use it for distances around 155 to 165, around there. I'll be gripping down and hitting a half shot, half swing shot for distances less than that, like 140, 145-ish. And then for my short iron, I have my nine iron. I like to use it for around 120 to 130 yards. And then my 54 degree wedge, because this is my most used wedge, <laughs> especially around the greens, so yeah. And then my putter, of course, because I definitely need my putter. So those are my five clubs right now. Then we're allowed range finders, so I have my trusted bush now. But I put a new battery in, just in case my old battery dies during the middle of the tournament. I mean, that's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> so, put a new one in. I'm gonna bring six golf balls. I don't know if that's too much or too little, I have no idea. And then, I'm gonna bring all short tees, since I'm only teeing off with three wood. I don't need a long tee. So I have these like, little baby tees. And some broken tees are in there too. <laughs> Which helps a lot. I'm really terrible with directions, so I decided I'm going to study the course layout a little bit <laughs> so I know where to run to the next hole because getting lost wastes time. So <laughs> For the clothes, this was a really hard decision for me and I still haven't decided what to wear since, since it's going to be televised, I have to look good, be comfortable and still wear golf clothes since that's one of the requirements that we still have to wear golf attire Oh, and for the shoes, I have these bikeless Adidas golf shoes. I've had these since college, so that's why they're very old. But they're very comfortable, so I'm going to be running with these. But yeah, so it's going to be a lonely round because I'm running by myself and playing golf by myself. We have one scoring person. It's probably going to be the longest hour of my life. They have a lot of special rules just for speed golf. So like for instance, we can leave the flag in while we putt and we can carry the golf bag while we putt as well, which definitely saves a lot of time. And if we go OB or, you know, if we had an unplayable lie, etc., we can drop the ball anywhere around that area, no closer to the hole and just hit from there. So we don't have to re-hit. It's definitely going to be a good learning experience. Hey guys, so I finished the speed golf tournament and I am absolutely, absolutely exhausted. It is a lot harder than I could have ever imagined. All the players that signed up, they were marathon runners or triathletes and I mean, I thought I could get away as just a professional golfer, but oh my goodness, running for 18 holes plus golfing in between, it's a lot of work. My time was 77 minutes, around 77 minutes, and my score was 82. It was definitely a great experience. A lot of people asked me if I was going to do it again next year. I honestly haven't decided yet. I need to recover first. <laughs> but if I do play again next year, I'm going to train hard for it. I have learned my lesson. Not going straight up to this event and <laughs> just assume that it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm happy I survived all 18 holes because honestly I was getting so exhausted after the fifth hole <laughs> so I was like what am I going to do there was a cameraman filming me every shot probably looked awful I had like nose drippage going on and my skirt kept twisting so 
There were a couple times where I was just walking through my shot <laughs> because I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was more fun after it was done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I won second place. I still won $1,000, so it's better than nothing. My good friend Mina Nakayama came in first. I shot 82 and she shot 83, but time-wise she was slightly better than me, so that's why. But yeah, I mean... <sighs> I just... I'm so exhausted. <laughs> first couple holes I was you know still trying to figure out how to golf and be fast at the same time <laughs> so I had a couple doubles early in my round but then back nine I was actually doing really well I only had three bogeys I shot 39 and it made me think like if I could play that well without you know thinking about anything and then not even reading the greens or anything I was like huh it's actually quite doable <laughs> It's just the running part, man. It was, it was intense. <sighs> I went into two bunkers, so that killed my time because I was like, I had to like rake the bunker a little bit too. I was actually pretty happy with my club selection. I think for the most part, I did a good job. And I used my range finder, probably that probably killed my time, but I'd rather still be accurate, so I'm going to keep that part. <laughs> and I have a feeling my legs are going to be super sore. I am like so uncomfortable right now because my sweat is like making me cold. <laughs> if you're into marathons and golf, this is like perfect for you. I hope you enjoy watching me struggle. I think it'll air end of December, so definitely go check it out. And to my international friends outside of Japan, I will find a way for you guys to watch, so don't worry. And yeah. I'm gonna go take a nice hot bath now. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>